Hey guys, it's Carrie. Lots of amazing African animals. Mountain gorilla, they can only survive in the wild. They only live in the dense vegetation of Uganda's Buindi Impenetrable Forest National Park and along the dormant volcanic Virunga mountain range. Their longer fur enables them to live in colder climates. They can be identified by their nose print, which is unique to each individual. When they need to rest at night, they build a nest from surrounding vegetation to sleep in, constructing a new one every evening. They usually rise around 6 a.m. when the sun rises, unless it's particularly cold. Lion. In Uganda, lions climb trees. It's believed to be a behavioral adaption to protect themselves from the constant irritation of insect bites while lazing on the ground under the trees. Some animal behaviorists claim that these lions have perfected the art of climbing trees as a way of escaping the sweltering heat on ground level. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Giraffe Uganda is home to over 50% of Nubian giraffe in the wild. Nubian giraffe are a subspecies of the northern giraffe. The most extraordinary characteristic of the Nubian giraffe is the extreme length of the forelegs giving the animal a huge stride so that in spite of a rather slow galloping rhythm it can move at speeds of up to 55 kilometers per hour. The median lump is particularly developed in the male Nubian giraffe. This is the middle Aussie cone. African elephant. During musk, a male elephant may urinate with his penis still in the sheath, which causes the urine to spray on the hind legs. One question I've been recently asked is, which is stronger? a hippo or an elephant. It depends on the individuals, but generally the elephant will win. It's much larger, stronger and has tusks that could impale the hippo. The hippo on the other hand has a very powerful bite, but nothing that could hurt the elephant before the elephant kicks or impales it. Leopard. They spend most of their days strolling through the savanna or the forest, hiding in trees or caves. They are very solitary animals and are very rarely seen in pairs. Crocodile. There are three different species in Africa. The dwarf crocodile, the Nile crocodile and a fairly new species found in Kadipo. Its name is C. Sucus. Although they are fearsome, they have a gentle side when you look at the parental care with the mother. Uganda has 10 species of mongoose. African buffalo. With reproduction, they are promiscuous. As the mating season nears, Males in bachelor herds rejoin mixed herds to begin seeking proestrous females. A female's receptivity to mating is tested by the attending bull as he smells her urine and genital area. He can stimulate the female to urinate by licking the vulva. The male rests his chin on her rump if she stands, he mounts. A cow will stand still with her tail cocked when she is ready for copulation. 
He will copulate with her at least twice within half an hour. Baboon? The olive baboon is the only one found in Uganda. After a night's rest, they come down from the trees. Adults sit in small groups, grooming each other while the juveniles play. A troop's home range is well defined but does not appear to have territorial borders. It can overlap with the range of other baboons. Although they seem to avoid meeting one another, there is a dominance hierarchy and frequent fights break out to determine access to meat or females. The Ugandan cob is normally reddish brown. Pangolin? There are four species. They are nocturnal and their diet consists of mainly ants and termites which they capture using their long tongues. They tend to be solitary animals, meeting only to mate and produce a litter of one to three offspring, which they raise for about two years. Pangolins are threatened by poaching for their meat and scales, which are used in traditional medicine and heavy deforestation of their natural habitats. African wild dog, also known as the hunting dog, they live in permanent packs consisting of 2 to 27 adults and yearling pups. The species differs from most other social species in that males remain in the natal pack while females disperse. Marabou stork, it is the unofficial national bird of Uganda. The marabou is unmistakable due to its size, bare head and neck, black back and white underparts. It has a huge bill and a pink gula sack. And this is the saddle billed stork. Aardvark is a medium sized burrowing nocturnal mammal native to Africa. It has a long pig like snout which is used to sniff out food. Warthogs. Warthogs are powerful diggers using both their snouts and feet. Although they can dig their own burrows, they commonly occupy abandoned burrows of aardvarks and other animals. They reverse into these burrows with their head facing the opening ready to burst out if necessary. They will wallow in mud to cope with high temperatures and huddle together to cope with low temperatures. The males aggressively fight each other during the mating season but when under threat their primary defence is to flee by means of fast sprinting. When threatened, warthogs can run up to speeds of 48 kilometers per hour. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.